What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DJ Cuddy Montana checking back in with you with another video. If you like any of my videos, any of my content, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be bringing more content, more videos. I'm revamping my channel. I've been gone for a while, but now I'm back. But we go do it real big. So if you like anything, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. It's all about DJing, it's all about producing, it's all about engineering, it's all about having fun. That's what my channel's about, so I appreciate it. And this video I wanted to make because I had a lot of people DMing me on my IG, my Facebook, and just you know emailing me, calling me. <laughs> um, my last video I did the DDJ Rave 7 by Pioneer meets the Serato 3.0 stems update. So I did a demonstration on how the stems work and on my Rave 7, I had buttons I used to operate the stems function from the software. And people was asking, did the Rave 7 have customized buttons uh, specifically made for the stems 3.0 software update? And basically, no. <laughs> but what I did was mini map uh, some buttons that I never use on any of my DJ gear, like on my Pioneer S11. I, uh, I don't never use the save loop bank. I don't know why, I just don't. So what I did, I mini map uh, the buttons from the stems to operate on those features, uh, on those buttons, on those uh, specific uh, DJ gear. So on the Rave 7, people been asking about what I use was the hot Q buttons that's above the platters, the blue buttons. Uh, I mini map the uh, Serato 3.0 stems to that part. So I'm gonna show you on this video is how I mini map and you can use those buttons that you don't use. I don't use them, you might use them, but I don't use them uh, to operate the stems and you can, you know, take out the instrumental, take out the melody, you may take, uh, <laughs> take out whatever you need to take out and put it back in, whatever, on the fly, just like that. So let's get into it. Yeah. So first we gotta do is open up the 3.0 software by Serato. You see, I got the Ray 7 here. I got two songs pulled up. So now we're going to go into settings. So we go into settings. We're going to go over to MIDI. And your device should pop up in the menu right there. Mine popped up as Rave 7. And make sure you check this box right here. Allow Serato hardware remapping. That's very important. So after you do that, we come over here and get out of settings. Go back to the main screen. And then we want to come right over here. Click MIDI. And now we want to select... Uh, what we trying to mini map right now? I'm gonna mini map the stems, and like I said, I'm gonna use the four buttons above the plat on the Ray Seven because I really don't uh, use them. So we're gonna mini map the first one to the, the vocal to the first button, the melody to the second button. Click on this. Once you click on it, turn light blue. The sign the button is gonna turn dark blue. The drums, light blue, hit it dark blue it just lets you know that that uh button has been registered for that particular stem so now with the the echo outs i'm gonna use the second bank because i don't use that at all for real so you got this shift and that hot q bank and you just do that for the bottom buttons click on it turn light blue go to the instrumental echo out now the drums echo out So we did the left deck, so we gotta come over here to the right deck and do the exact same thing. Click on it, sign that button. Go over to the melody. Go get the bass and the drums. And we wanna do the same thing for the echo outs. Shift, the hot cue button. Now we got the bottom part of that bank. Get back. There we go. <laughs> Override it. That showed up because I already had it MIDI map, and it just makes sure I want to uh, override it. That's all. And we do the instrumental and the drums. And we good. And we take the MIDI button off. Now we ready to go. So 
Oh, that's how you mini map your buttons on your DJ controller, your DJ mixer for Serato 3.0 stems. I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you like the channel, go and subscribe to your channel. I mean, subscribe to my channel. What am I saying? I don't know. But <laughs> go subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have more videos like this, you know, for my fellow DJs, producers, people that just like, you know, DJ, producer gear, um, engineers, all that type of stuff. So if you like my channel, please subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And more videos like this on the way. Plus, I want to throw in before I get up out of here is that uh, make sure your PC or your MacBook reach the requirements that Serato suggests for the new 3.0 software update. Because if you got a later model, it might not work as smoothly or it might not work at all. So keep that in mind. I have a 2012 MacBook Pro that I was using on the demonstration in my other video and it works seamlessly, like no problems. Cause I got, you know, everything maxed out and everything. Plus I got a 2020 MacBook Pro just in case that, 20, <laughs> that 2012 don't do its thing. But I always keep a backup, but make sure y'all keep that in mind. All right. So until the next video, I'm gonna see y'all.